Buffy, Blade, and a whole bunch of Belmonts. These are just a few of the most popular names in vampire hunting. I hope to one day add Damsel to the list, because her debut release from Screw Tape Games is an action-packed romp that sets the stealthy Slayer up as an exciting hero to watch. From the tight gameplay to the comic book story to the intense firefights, Damsel bursts on the scene with a surprisingly strong start that fans of action platformers are going to love. Damsel is split into three different comic book stories, with the first two available right now and the third on the way. The premiere issue establishes Damsel, or D as her friends call her, as a nimble action hero with a powerful shotgun and a wooden stake for close quarters combat. Things quickly spiral out of control after D uncovers damning information that the powerful vampire corporation Red Mist is adding an illegal ingredient to their popular drinks. This sends the Vampire Slayer on an intense adventure to infiltrate, investigate, and ultimately disrupt production. But don't expect to do this without first killing hundreds of those undead bloodsuckers along the way. The good news is that Damsel is more than ready to take out an entire nest of vampires. She comes equipped with a powerful gun and a helpful dash move. She can also double jump, wall jump, and even bounce through the air by shooting at the ground. She's ready and prepared for anything the vampires have to throw at her. And that's what makes playing as her so much fun. Dee can toy with her prey as she almost always has the upper hand in every fight. Part of the reason for this is because of the way the stages are constructed. Instead of just running left to right like a lot of action games, Damsel tosses you into a closed off arena filled with different platforms and paths. Each stage gives you a different mission, such as destroying a bunch of surveillance cameras, rescuing hostages, uh, killing enemies, or uploading important files at the different computer terminals. You can tackle most of these assignments any way you wish, giving you a real sense of freedom that keeps the game from growing repetitive. And it's not just the freedom the game gives you, but also the speedy pacing that kept me glued to the screen. The levels are all two or three minutes long, with a few enforcing a strict time limit. Between the bite-sized nature and the different types of objectives, I kept wanting to play just one more stage. And then there are the stylish comic book pages between levels that get me engaged to the overall narrative. Once this game sticks its teeth into you, it won't let go. But in a good way. My only real complaint is the lack of variety in the stage designs. Because of the way the story is structured, there are a few levels that you'll end up revisiting multiple times before the game ends. And even when the arenas are different, a lot of them look the same. They use a lot of the same lighting and background assets, which is a little disappointing. Again, it makes sense in the context of the story, but I spent a whole lot of the game wishing for more diverse backgrounds. The same goes for the different missions. But don't get me wrong, I like that we're not always doing the same thing in every level. But it won't take long before you realize that there are only a handful of mission types that are rotating one after another. Most of them have very little to do with the story beat that we just caught from that comic book page, which has a way to disconnect the action from the narrative. It would have been nice to see more story-specific assignments. Now, on a more positive note, Damsel is loaded with content. Even without the third episode available at launch, there are all kinds of different modes to keep you occupied. Beyond the traditional story campaign, we also get a leaderboard-focused Damsel Dash, as well as the more structured arcade mode, and if you want a more relaxing experience, there's the chill out mode, which is kind of the opposite of the much harder hothead mode. Like I said, there's a lot to do here, and that's even before the explosive final chapter has come out. Don't let her small frame and blue hair fool you. Damsel is one of the year's best new characters. This debut release from Screwtape Studios is a joy to play and filled with great ideas. Best of all, there's a vampire slaying story here that is surprisingly interesting. My only knock is that the levels repeat themselves and the final chapter is yet to come out. Beyond that, Damsel is an incredibly satisfying 2D platformer with great gameplay, exciting missions, and a killer new action hero. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. So here's the question I have for you. Who's your favorite video game heroine? I'm looking for the strong and cunning women that know how to get the job done. 
There are some obvious answers, like Samus and Lara Croft, but I'm partial to Dolores from Thimbleweed Park and, of course, Jade from Beyond Good and Evil. Let me hear your picks in the comments below. In other news, I'm currently hard at work on a bunch of reviews, but I'm also dealing with some computer problems as of the recording of this outro. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.